How do you combine a date and time together in SQL Server? Hello, I'm Philip Burton of idodata.com. So here we've got two variables, one of which is a date type and the other a time type. And I want them combined so they will be in one field. So how can we do that? Well, if you'd like to do this as a practice activity, why not do it yourself? and see if you can find more than one way of doing it. There's some fairly outlandish ways of doing this, so maybe you can get something that is fairly off the wall, but actually works. So if you want to try it, please try it now, and you'll find this code in the description to this YouTube video. So let's have a look at the obvious way. So this is the way that it would work in Microsoft Excel. So in Microsoft Excel, all we would have to do is add the two cells together to get the results. Very simple. So let's see if we can do that in SQL Server. So I will go select the, my date variable and my time variable. Problem is, I can't use the plus operator for the date data type, and I can't use it for the time data type either. So this is no good. So what can I do? Well, what is the end result that we want? Well, we want the 31st of January 2024 at 5.14 in the afternoon. But what type of field is that? It's not going to be a date because it's got a time. And it's not going to be time because it's got a date. So it's going to be a date time. So let us convert this into date time. So convert my date into date time. That's one word. And I'll just do it a different way just to show you that it is possible. We can cast the time as date time. So either using convert and put the field type that you want at the beginning and then a comma and then your verbal, or then cast and then your field or your verbal and then as and what you want. So if I execute now, they can see it works. And so I would like to name this, so I'll name this combined date time. So that's one way of doing it, and that is probably the easiest way. So you can use either convert or cast, or you can do what I've done and use a confusing combination of the two. But I'm only doing this just to show that it actually does work. And the good thing about this is you don't need to worry whether this is a date to begin with or a time, or this could be a date time to begin with. Could be a date time too. As long as we are converting something into date time, then the add will work. So when won't it work? Well, date time allows you to have your time to one three hundredth of a second. So the last digit will be a zero, a three, or seven. But suppose we're doing something a bit more complicated, something a bit more precise. Not often happening that you would need this level of detail. But suppose we had this as a date time two, and I was going dot one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So date time two allows me to go down to many more decimal places than date time would. Now, if I just did this, then it would truncate it. It would round it actually to nearest three hundredth of a second. But suppose I didn't want to lose that level of accuracy. Well, I could convert these both into date time two. Unfortunately, it doesn't work. I can't use the plus for date time too. So I would have to content myself with this level of accuracy if I was going to use something this simple. Now, unfortunately, if I want to use date time too, I have to go a bit more complex. Now, let's say I wanted this and I wanted to add one day to it. What function would I use? I would use date add. And if you don't know about date add, then have a look at the link above where I've got a YouTube video all about date add. So I'm going to add a day to Tim. Now, what day are we going to have? We haven't actually specified a day. Well, the day is now the 2nd of January, 1900. So if you don't specify a day, then it is going to be January the 1st, 1900. And we can see this if we add zero days to it. Now, that means that day zero is that day. How many days after day zero is this? Which function do we use? We use date diff. 
and you'll see a link above for the date diff video that I've got. So the date diff from in days from starting at day zero to the current day is 45,320. So that makes sense. It's about 365 days in a year. A century would be 36,500. So a century in a bit. Yep, yeah, that makes sense. So what I now need to do is to add this number of days to this time. So instead of adding zero days, we add that many days. And that gets us to the right answer, but this time we've not had to convert into date time. We can leave this as date time two. So here are two different ways of combining dates and time. Now you can also use this for combining time and time. So that could be useful if you've got time fields, which actually are durations, but you're saying that this is the number of hours and minutes and days and you want to combine two of these together. You can also use this for date fields. And quite frankly, I have no idea why you would want to add two date fields together. It just doesn't make any practical sense. It does make logical sense in that you can do it, but I don't know why you would. So here are two different ways. First of all, convert or cast it into date time. Or secondly, you can add the number of days from the 1st of January 1900 into your time. Well, I hope that you enjoyed this practice activity. If you did, why not like the video, subscribe to my YouTube channel and click that bell so that you can be notified of more videos when they come out. If you would like more practice activities, then please click the link on your screen. Or why not join me in my Udemy courses where you can learn about TSQL well, I hope that you enjoyed this practice activity. If you did, then please like the video and why not subscribe to my YouTube channel and click that bell so that you can be notified of more videos when they come out. If you want more practice activities, then please click the link that you will soon see on your screen. Or why not join me in my Udemy courses where you can learn about TSQL, database administration, SSRS, SSAS, SSIS, and more. There are full details in the description to this video or on my website, idodata.com. Thank you very much for watching this video and keep learning.